Hi everyone, I'm Sadia. I'm a small social media and marketing intern. Today I'll be interviewing Flora Wiegman. She's one of our two artists in residence this summer. So you have your two performances coming up. Can you tell us a little bit about um, your two performances? Sure. Uh, so I have been working in the gallery within the Noema show, um, looking at all of the different diagrams. And um, on July 20th, during the Art Walk, uh, people can come in and see me working in the gallery. So it's more like an expo exposing of the process of me coming in, looking at the material, and making some movement based on a diagram or many diagrams. And so does it kind of, your performances, are they going to kind of connect and portray your history of your dance technique? Like, can you describe a little bit of how that's going to connect in the relationship between them? Well, sure. So often I do research-based work. So this is just kind of a continuation in another sense. So um, just working with some ideas and, and that would be the starting point or the structure to make a performance. So um, this work of going in and taking information from a pictorial diagram and moving it into my body, uh, moving through the space, uh, is kind of the way I'm tackling this project. Yeah. And then um, on August 20th, which is the second performance, I have two other jo dancers joining me and we will then present the material that came out of this sort of experimentation mm -hmm. in the gallery. Cool. And so I know you've collaborated with many artists in the past and so what about this collaboration with Matthew? Like was he involved heavily in the process? How did, did you guys kind of go back and forth showcasing like the diagrams and what you wanted to focus on as far as your performance? Right, well, uh, often um, when I work with artists, I mean, sometimes we really work together making a piece, yeah. and at other times um, they'll present, they'll, they'll have something going on, and then um, they might want the space activated by a movement project. And so right. I kind of think of them as like parallel, so, you know, Matthew Ritchie's show is Noema, and then I wasn't part of that formation, but I'm sort of a new um, actor yeah. yeah, within the show. So it's kind of like my movement project is going along and it's informed by Noema. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we definitely did have conversations. Um, when we first spoke, you know, he clearly is obsessed with diagrams. Yeah. <laughs> and I've always been really interested in them too. I, I always like to see where ideas start and then you know so you see the little idea sketches right. and then and then you see the final prod product mm -hmm. and with dance specifically i mean my history is in dance um it's always been fascinating for me to look at ephemera from a performance or the notes and the maps and the, the sketches process. and photographs and yeah whatever sort of led a person to compile everything and then you see this really distinct performance come out of it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's kind of me taking what I want from mm -hmm. his show and, and translating it into my body and right. into movement through the space. Um, and yeah, so I, I use some things as literal spatial maps and other things as just ways to figure out gestures within my body. Um, and it'll be interesting when we have the other two dancers, there will be three of us yeah. in the space, so you'll get to see how other people might interpret an image into spatial movement, and, and they'll choose to do something completely different from what I would. Um, and so we'll be able to layer those together, you, you might be able to see them one by one, and then you know they may be drawn to other images in the gallery. For instance, like the Paul Klee boat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know um, we spoke earlier yeah, saying that's your favorite. That's one of my favorites. And so it'll be interesting to see which little parts of that diagram they feel drawn to and want to make right. movement from. Because I have, you know, if I highlight my areas, it'll be interesting to see what areas they highlight and then we'll be able to sort of do that all in the space and then just see what, see what comes out of it. Um, aside kind of from your work um, with your performances in dance, I know you're the co-founder of the Laboratory for Embodied Studies and so that Embodied Intelligences, embodied, yeah. Embodied Intelligences. Yeah. And so I know that kind of connects back to research, your, yeah, lots of research. research. 
So um, can you explain a little bit about that? Sure, sure. That is, um, that's kind of a oddly scientific pro pro project. Um, I am working with Nina Weissman, who is an LA-based artist, and she was an artist in residence at SETI, which is the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence that's attached to NASA up in uh, Mountain View. So um, after her research, she was very interested in putting a think tank together and thinking about intelligence as a broader term and maybe not, you know, human intelligence isn't the only intelligence that exists. And so how do we look at and try and understand the intelligence of things that don't have a human body? Mm -hmm. um, because most likely the life we will encounter first from outer space will be microbial. So the first part of our project is um, looking at microbes and learning from their logic systems and their way of movement and their way of traversing space and exploring space and getting the things that they need. Um, also the way they can just take and give information at will and they can, you know, they become really resistant to, you know, toxins and you know so much so they're actually smart little things and since we as humans learn a lot from how our bodies move through the world um, we that's we really learn through movement um, we have been trying on different microbial movements in uh, in the studio with ourselves and other dancers and other interested people, okay. just to see what you can learn from yeah. trying something on that's not necessarily a human, a human mm -hmm. system. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. yeah, it's been really fun. And so tying back to the performances and what you're doing right now, um, what can visitors expect to see during the show? Yeah, well, in August 20th, um, the three of us will be in here for about two hours. Oh. And we will just sort of layer material in, Adding yeah, the different layers of each dancer as well, right? Right, right. So you know, we'll we'll set out to, you know, perform the material of diagram A, mm -hmm. and so we'll find different ways of doing that, and we'll we'll do that for a yeah. while, and then we'll shift gears, and we'll probably work with the floor diagram. And so, so it's still a very fluid performance as you're going. It's just kind of making recognition to each work that you decide. Yeah. So floor decal from Paul Klee to maybe even Kelly Nipper's um, Floyd on the Floor performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, it'll, yeah, it'll just be um, a number of things kind of sculpted together um, to just present all of the material. Yeah. All, right. all right. Thanks so much, Flora. Um, and everyone, be sure to check out Flora's performances July 20th um, during the El Segundo Art Walk from 5 to 9, as well as August 20th at 3 p.m.